Hello friends, this video on polynomials part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's understand the concept of algebraic identity. We have read about this in the previous classes. Algebraic identity is nothing but an algebraic equation that is true for all the values of the variable occurring in it. For example, x plus y square is equal to x square plus y square plus 2xy. This is true for any value of x and y. For example, if you put x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3. So 2 plus 3 whole square is equal to 2 square plus 2 into 2 into 3 plus 3 square. Let's see this left hand side, right hand side. Left hand side is 2 plus 3, 5 square is 25. And this side you get is 4, 2 into 2, 4 into 3, 12. And 3 square is 9. So if we solve this, 12 plus 4 is 16 plus 9 is 25. Both sides is equal. Right? So algebraic identities are equation that is true for all the variables. And few of the algebraic identity we'll be using in this chapter is x plus y whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus 2x square x minus y whole square, same equation, replace y with minus y, you get x square minus 2xy plus y square. x square minus y square is x plus y into x minus y. Please learn this. If you don't remember these identities, you should remember this. You should learn this by heart. Very, very important algebraic identities. x plus a into x plus b is x square plus a plus bx plus ab. This is also very critical x plus y plus z whole square is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy, 2yz, 2zx. This is also very important. x plus y whole cube is x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into x plus y. Very important. Same thing, replace y with minus y, you'll get this. And then this is also very important. x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xy, that is nothing but x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. We'll try to get the proof for few of these and few of these will not give the proof but very very important identities. Please remember these by heart. So we'll solve some questions based on this. We have to find the following product using algebraic uh, identities here. So we can actually do the calculation but we are asked to use algebraic identities. So x plus 3 into x plus 3 is x plus 3 whole square. So the algebraic identities we have seen is a plus b whole square is nothing but a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? So here a is x, b is 3. So a square becomes, this becomes x square plus 2 into x into 3 plus b square that is 3 square. Solve this x square plus 6x plus 9. Pretty easy. Let's try this. This is x minus 3 into x plus 5. This is x plus a into x plus b identity. And this is nothing but x square plus a plus bx plus ab. So I'm just using the algebraic identity formula directly. Same thing you do here. So this becomes x square plus x into a plus b that is 5 minus 3. Right, minus 3 plus 5 and plus AB that is minus 3 into 5. So you get x square plus 2x minus 15. Directly using algebraic identities we get the answers. We can actually ev evaluate these without multiplying directly by using algebraic identities. 105 into 106 I can write as 100 plus 5 into 100 plus 6. So this is again x x plus a into x plus b identity this is common xx so this is nothing but 100 square plus x is 100 into 5 plus 6 plus ab this is a and this is b that is 6 into 5 so you solve this you get 100, 100 plus 6 plus 5 is 1100 plus 30 this is nothing but 111 so without actually calculating this, we could solve this just by using algebraic identities. So why we took 100 was because 100 into 100 is pretty easy, right? 100 into 100, 1000 into 1000, pretty easy to calculate. And that's why we took 100. So if you have taken 99 plus 6 into, let's suppose 99 plus 7, 
you can actually do that. But with that, your life will be difficult. So with this, you'll get 99 square plus 99 into 6 plus 7 plus 6 into 7. So these calculations are difficult. So we typically take hundreds. With that, life is pretty easy. Okay. So we need to factorize this. So to factorize this, we can actually use algebraic identities. We see that 49a square I can write as 7a whole square. 25b square I can write as 5b whole square. And this 70ab I can write as 2 into 5b into 7a. Right? 5 into 2 is 10 into 7, 70. b into a is ab. And this is nothing but 7a plus 5b whole square identity. Because we know that x plus y whole square is equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square. Here x is 7a, y is 5b. Right? This is 7a, 5b. This is 7a, 5b. Same thing if you see 2, 7a, 5b. 7a square, 5b square. Same thing, let's try for this equation. So this is what? 5 by 2x whole square, that is 25 by 4 whole square minus y by 3 whole square. So a square minus b square. So a square minus b square, I know is nothing but a plus b into a minus b using algebraic identities. So I can write this equation as 5 by 2x plus y by 3 into 5 by 2x minus 5 by 3. Okay, pretty easy. So till now all the identities we have solved was for 2 degree. Right? So our binomials, let's try for trinomials. So we have seen till now x plus y whole square. We have seen x minus y into x plus y kind of thing. So we have seen all binomial identities. Let's see some trinomial identities. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if we can find the value of x plus y plus z whole square. We have we have told you that we'll try to find uh, prove some of the algebraic identities. Let's try to find the value of this. So we can put this as t. So that this becomes t plus z whole square. This is similar to what we know. This is a plus b whole square types. So this becomes what? t square plus 2tz plus z square. Now replace t with my x plus y here. So x plus y whole square plus 2 into t is x plus y into z plus z square. So let's break this x plus y whole square. That is x square plus y square 2xy. Let's break this as well 2xz 2yz plus z square. So that is if you see you get nothing but x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2xz plus 2yz. Okay. So let's take uh, some numerical now. We have to expand this. So we know the formula now a plus b plus c whole square, a square plus b square plus c square, 2ab, 2ac, 2bc. So let's do that. Or uh, let's assume this is x, y, and z whole square. Okay, so let's break this. This becomes, we know that, x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2 xz so let's break this x is 3a so this becomes 3a whole square y is 4b 4b whole square z is 5c 5c whole square plus 2xy that is 2 into 3a into 4b plus 2yz 2 into 4b into 5c plus 2xz, this and this, 3a into 5c. 
Okay, so we are multiplying this with this, this with this, and this with this. So with this, when you solve, what you get is three a whole square is what? Nine a square. Four b square is sixteen b square. Five c square is twenty five c square. This becomes three into two six into four twenty four twenty four a b. 4 into 2 8 into 5 is 40 bc 2 into 3 is 6 into 5 is 30 ac okay so we can similarly expand this as well not that very difficult task but the only thing is we have to take care of signs here so this becomes this square plus this square minus 2b square plus minus 3c square plus 2 into this into this that is 4a into minus 2b plus 2 into this into this 2 into 4a into minus 3c plus 2 into these two minus 2b into minus 3c please pay attention with the signs i'll request you to pause this video and try this question on your own okay so when you solve this, this becomes 16a square plus 4b square plus 9c square minus 4 into 2 into is 8, 8 into 2 is 16, 16ab minus 4 into 2 is 8 into 3 is 24, 24a, this is c, I think 3c, yeah. ac, and this minus minus is plus 2 into 2 into 4 into 3 is 12, bc. And that is the answer. Okay. Let's try to factorize this. So if you see this is some x square, y square, z square, 4xy, 4yz, 4zx type of equation. We know that a plus b plus c whole square is nothing but a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2c. It looks similar. Let's see. So if this is a square, a is what? a will be 2x. If this is b square, b will be y. z is c square, c will be z. Okay. And what will be this value? 2 of ab, this will be 2 into 2x into y. 2 of BC will be 2 into YZ and 2 of CA will be 2 of C is what Z and A is what 2X. Okay. So let's see what the value of this. So I know that using the formula, I know that 2X plus Y plus Z whole square, I'm just writing for my convenience, is 2X whole square, that is 4X square plus y square plus z square plus 4xy plus 2yz plus 4zx. Just writing for my convenience. Now if you see here, let's compare this. 4x square is fine, y square is fine, z square is fine. But there's a trick here. There's a plus here and there's a negative here in the question. There's a plus here, yz is a negative in the question, and zx is fine. So among these two terms, which one is common? So if you see the common term is y. That means instead of taking y, I should take minus y. Let's try that. So if you say 2x minus y plus z whole square, there's a trick here, if you see here. Let's try to expand this. So this becomes 4x square plus minus y whole square plus z square plus 2 into 2x into minus y plus multiply this 2 into 2x into z plus 2 into minus y into z. This is equal to 4x square plus y square plus z square minus 4xy plus 4xz minus 2yz. So if you see here, this is all same, right? All same here. 
Thus, I can say that this is nothing but 2x minus y plus z whole square. Okay, so if you see, this is also a two degree polynomial. The power is two. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.